Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the resources we have in Galileo, our online portal for the library. Uh, more specifically, I'm going to talk to you about LexisNexis, which is a database that compiles laws, uh, cases, uh, federal and state, newspapers, and other materials. It's a little bit of a complicated database, so I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how best to find information in it. So I'm starting from D2L from the main page. Um, you don't have to be in your specific course to access Galileo. We have a search box already put into uh, your portal. We also have just a button to click through. Now if you're accessing this off campus, which I assume a lot of you are, you may need the Galileo password um, and you can find that um, in your MyEGSE portal. So to start out with, I'm going to click this. You can either click the button here or you can click this link that'll take you to Galileo's main page. So to get to a specific database, you could choose one of these options down here. Um, if you weren't sure what the name of the database was, you could look for it by subject or type, but we know we're looking for LexisNexis. So we'll go databases A to Z, L, and then uh, you see we have a couple of options. At the top here it has landmark US legal cases, so that's just a part of LexisNexis. These kind of cases will be uh, famous for some reason, they've been in the news or they're well known, so this is going to limit your cases. Um, so I would suggest instead of using that, going to the main LexisNexis. It says LexisNexis Academic. You're just going to click right on the title to get into it. Okay, so you see right here in the middle we have a big search bar and um, we have some quick links and some other options. Um, if you were looking up a case and you already knew information about it, you could use this box here to enter the citation. You have to enter, enter it exactly. If you needed help with that, there's a link that can help you. Um, or if you knew the parties involved in it, you could put their names in here and it would search. It also gives you this option to search by topic. That's kind of basic and you'll end up looking through a lot of cases, so I would suggest instead you go to the top and choose the advanced options under the search bar. We're going to create our own specific search. So you see it gives you lots of op options that you can choose um, to limit. I'm going to choose, just to show you how it works, I'm going to choose um, previous 10 years because I want to find a case that's happened in the last 10 years so it would be a little more up to date. Um, you see here we have our build your own segment search, so this is where you're going to put your keywords, your big ideas. When you search a database, you can't write a sentence like, tell me a case about liability, because the databases don't search that way. So instead you need to pick out your big ideas, your keywords. So for this one, we're going to look for emergency, how about we'll do emergency medical, my medical service and I'm putting those in quotations. That means it's a phrase search, so instead of searching for things that have emergency and medical and services, it's going to search for things that have all three words in that order. So emergency medical services, that's our first keyword or key phrase, and I'm going to put an and between them because we want to find cases that have multiple keywords. So we've got emergency medical services and I'm going to try workers compensation. So let's see if we can find some cases that involve workers' comp and emergency medical service personnel. So we have our dates, we have our search keywords. Let's scroll down to the bottom and it asks for what kind of content. Now we don't want company profiles or law reviews. Um, if you weren't sure and you needed a little help, uh, you could search newspapers and then work backwards and search for that specific case but um, that might take some extra work, so I'm going to unclick newspapers because we just want the actual cases themselves. We're going to click apply, and that will automatically add your search directly into the search box, so all you have to do is click search. So these are our results. Uh, there's a lot happening on here, but um, on the left here we have some limiters, so if you knew you were looking for something specifically set in Connecticut, then you could click Connecticut. But we're just interested in looking in general. So you see down the middle these are all our results. So they give you a little brief explanation after the title of the case, but uh, the best way to find out what these cases are about is to look at them one by one. Now these are ranked by relevance, meaning that the use of emergency medical services and workers' comp 
um, the cases that use those most will be at the top. So you really don't have to search all the way through 161 pages. You could probably just search the first couple of pages and you should find something that corresponds with what you're searching for. I've already done this search before and I looked at this one and it didn't have exactly what I wanted. I think that it was about emergency medical services personnel, um, but they weren't necessarily involved with it. So instead I'll go back and try this one. And this one, you can see in red, it's highlighted the words you were searching for. Um, it says Freeman versus Barnes. It's in Georgia, Fulton County. It's already been decided. You can see the year 2006. Um, so as you scroll down, it's going to give you information. It's got a summary, which can be very helpful. When you're looking for a case that fits your parameters, I would say look at the case summary first because it'll give you an idea before you start digging into the details. So it looks here that this is about a state employee and workers comp, and the outcome is the court affirmed the judgment of the trial court. So this is the, a case that you could potentially look at here. Now, so if you really like this case and you thought this is the one I want, you can use these shortcuts here to print it. You can email it to yourself. You can save it to your computer or device um, so that you can access it another time. If you wanted to just copy the links, you could access that later. You can as well. So that's an intro to LexisNexis and finding cases. I will tell you a few tips and tricks for searching LexisNexis a lot of times it will take trial and error, so we chose two keywords for this. So perhaps you do some searching and you're not finding exactly what you need. You might want to add some keywords or come up with some synonyms, so some words that are similar, um, because a case might use a, a different term um, than the one you're using. So a lot of LexisNexis is trial and error, and there's nothing wrong with searching over and over again with different combinations. You won't break it at all. I would say that the best thing for LexisNexis is just kind of playing with it and getting used to it. Now if you do get stuck and you need some help using LexisNexis, you're more than welcome to message me through D2L or you can send me an email to my email or you can call during business hours. Um, there are many ways you can get a hold of me and I'm more than happy to help you find what you need in this database or in another database. Thanks for listening.